um, the door was basically me and the door were almost making love. That's that's how bad it was. <laughs> Good day guys, it's QWERTY Afro here. Welcome to another playing open BV video. I think it's episode how many I did Central, Waterloo City, um Victoria District and Jubilee. So I think it's episode six. We're on the Northern Line finally. This is one of the ones that everyone's been wanting me to do from the get-go because this is also another one, including with the Central Line uh, map, which was my first video. Which I think that video has now gotten over a hundred thousand views, which is something just crazy, essentially. But I'm on the Northern Line finally. Which this one, this one is to be probably the most. This is probably the the, the route that was made most for Open BV when it did come out. Uh, the Central Line one is a bit more detailed, I think. But this is the one that was like the first. I think this was the first underground BV route that was made fully for Open BV. So it's really good. The trains uh, made for Open BV. The um, uh, the routes in the parts where you're driving above ground is made for Open BV, so you can go around. And it's 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 mostly detailed but this is the kind of oh this is the this is the one this is like the open bv route that we all like want and need basically because it has every i think it has it's the one that you can play the full line essentially you can do to morden you can do up to high barnet and i think you can do up to edgeware i'm not too sure but there are a few kind of different scenarios that you can do like kennington to high barnet um High Barnet to Kennington, and then I think Edgware to Morden, I think. Those are the kind of ways to do it. And there's also two trains that you can use. You can use the 1995 unrefurbished or 1995 refurbished, which we're actually using today. I'm back in Open BVE. And uh, I haven't actually opened B open BV in quite some time, so I might be a bit rusty. So we're going to just see how we're going to do this shift. We're doing just the shift from Kennington today to High Barnet. Um... I think everyone's on board or whatever. We do have some controls here that shows us what we're like doing. Uh, I think I need to put on the saloon lights, so I'm going to press 6 to put those on. Um, also, I'm going to put the uh, the tail lamp. So, I'm also, there is a destination board thing, actually, I'm going to go uh, outside and actually uh, do by pressing 4, and it, like, goes and scrolls, and then it stops, essentially. Before I do any of that, the shout-outs for this video go to Billy Day and Ben Bush... Ha Bushel and Sly, I think Ein Sly. I don't know how to say that, but the, the shout outs can go to Billy Day and Ben Bushel um, Ein Sly. Ein Sly. I, I'm sorry, Ainsley. 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 It's Ainsley. Why am I saying Ein Sly? I think it's Ainsley. Sorry for butchering your name there, but thank you. Uh, thank you to those two. Those two get the shout outs for this video. The links is probably down below. Uh, show them some love. If you'd like a shout out, please use the QWERTY forms link down below in the description. Right, now let me get acquainted to. Uh, so, this is the exterior camera. This is the track camera. Uh, oh, God, I want the exterior camera. Uh, the camera is a bit bouncy around here, so let me get the. Uh, let me get. Let me go. Can I go a bit down here? And I want to go a little forward. I want to turn around here so I can see my train. That is good. Okay, those are on. Oh, they were already on, so I probably already turned them. So we're going to High Barnet today, so we want to whack on the destination board. There we go. We just press 4 again, and that locks it in, which is really good. Uh, you can see our train here, really nicely modeled for open BVE kind of level. And you can see it is the... You can see it is the um, it is the refreshed one, the refurbished one, which has the blue seating, the blue poles and stuff. I'm a bit annoyed that, like, with the underground trains nowadays, most of them don't follow the pa the, the colour scheme. Like, I, I think the, the 1996 stock, actually, the refurbished 1996 stock has followed the silver, has silver poles now to emulate the, the colour of the actual line, while the northern line still uses, like, dark blue, which is, like, Piccadilly. It's not really black. I wish they were, like, black pole. I wish every train kind of had... The signature color to the actual line that would be so so cool anyway uh let me get onto the track camera i think so we can just do it like a little bit of a, a a departure here actually before we even do that let's just get back in here and actually sort everything out that we actually need to do um let me put the reverser in forward uh let me get the get out of emergency break would be a good thing and I think the I think the P I think the PA announcements are all automatic if I am right. I don't think there's anything here. I think everything's automatic. 
Uh, yes, we can get rid of the uh, timetable by pressing Control T, and it goes into this smaller version of the timetable. Or if we press it again, it will disappear completely. Right, I want to get back onto the track camera. Ladies and gentlemen, this uh, Northern Line train to High Barnet is ready to leave. Please stand clear of the closing doors. This train is ready to depart. Stand clear. They do close a little bit slow, these doors, but not if I forgive it. Right. Let's us begin. As we pull away there. You could also tell that the carriages darken a bit when they go in the tunnels. That's just how it is with the... Uh, with the with the engine, the graphics engine in OpenBV. Let's get going. To Harbarn it we go. In the nineteen ninety five stop, um, obviously the similar stop to um, let's get back let's get back to neutral here so we can coast a little bit. Obviously, it is uh, very similar to the 1996 stock, and also, to, just to know, if you didn't actually know, the 1995 stock is actually newer than the 1996 stock. Um, the 1996 stock actually has an older traction engine, uh, traction motor, what was it, engine, traction motor design than the 1995 stock. It's just that the 1995 stock was the, the 95 and the 96 stocks were both built at the same time. It's just the 96 stock was built with an older traction motor when they were designing that one, and then the 95 stock they put in a new one, which that's why both sound completely different. Because technically they could have been the same sort of design. They are like model-wise and kind of like interior and exterior-wise, they are literally the same train just have different traction motors. Alright, next station is... Uh, next station is Waterloo, changing for the Bakerloo and Jubilee line. But I think it will say, I think, that, I think the announcement should be on. There we go. Right, let's see if my braking skills are good. I think this has really good brakes anyway, so oh yeah, I'm going a little bit too premature here with the brakes. Alright. A little bit, a little bit over, that, that'll do. That will do it. It's not too bad. We'll get better as we go along. Hopefully we won't do any overruns or any kind of stupid underruns, but I'll try and keep it within reason. There we go. Nice, uh, nice thing. Also, one thing we could do is I can position... What I like to do is I like using the exterior camera, which is attached to the train, I do believe. Uh, I like using the exterior camera and then going into, like, one of these carriages. Like, normally the second carriage because the uh, the first the first carriage is static so that's where the camera is centered so when you're in the first carriage it stands still so there's no like uh, ca carriage sway in the first carriage so go in the second carriage position your um, position your camera in here and then basically you got yourself a little interior camera basically um, so ooh, and the camera's just jolting around right stand clear of the doors this uh, northern line train to um, Hi, Barnet is ready to depart. Right. You can hear that the, the motors on the 1995 stock are so, so quiet. And they, well, they're not quiet, but they don't really have much, there's not much, like, uh, tunage to them, really. They just, um, they're just very simple. While like the 1996 stock, you hear it's like a microwave. It's essentially like the uh, they use the same traction motors in the um, uh, in the uh, in the networkers in the four four uh, four six six four six five uh, networkers. I do, but the next station is Charing Cross, which is very close to Waterloo, so that's why I'm not going too fast. But there hasn't been an announcement yet, so we're not probably we're not that close. This is, of course, me driving an interior 
in the interior, oh my god, in the interior mode, trying to drive in the interior mode. I'll probably do it to the next station and we'll help back into the cab. That was that was good. Right, I don't know if I'm not sure if it's this station. I think it might be this station actually, so I'm gonna do a quick check at the back. One of these stations or oh, I think it's two. Okay, no, that's fine, that's fine, cool. Uh there we go. Yeah, beautiful. So essentially, um, there is um, there is a feature on this uh, on this 1995 stock in this Open BV map where you can lock the front or the back doors because I think there's one or two platforms that are a bit too short for the train where you have to actually lock the front double leaf or the back double leaf doors. I'm not too sure, but one there's a couple of stations. I think there's only two that you do, it, or there might even be just one. But we'll close the doors now. Charing Cross for uh, Bakerloo. Oh, lost a bit of power there. Probably a little neutral, mini neutral section. Oh! Oh, no, 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 it was this station, it was this station, I had to slow down, oh, and it's, oh, oh, okay, stop, 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 please, please, thank you, <gasps> okay, <laughs> um, so, this is the station I do believe that is short, and I think, if I look at my timetable, oh, it was Embankment, ah, it's Charing Cross, right, okay, uh, so now if I go into my, uh, thing camera, you will see that the front door is a little bit too far ahead in the tunnel because this station has a rather short platform. I don't think it's a, I don't think it's an issue um, back down here. No, it's not an issue at all down here. It's the, basically the front here. So what we have to do is we have to get back in the cab. We have to look. So yeah, look, cut front door uh, right. So we press zero, and then if we go back outside. Look, look at that simulation right there. There you go. So that cuts out the front front double leaf door because this station is a bit too short. I like that. I like that quite a lot actually. <laughs> like it's just it's a nice little addition there because it's not like it's only on this station. I think maybe one more. But it's it's nice, and I'm guessing this is in real life the kind of issue. I think with the north uh, with the northern line, it's always been an issue capacity-wise because it's only it's like six carriages, which is really short for. Because normally most carriages on the network are at least seven, uh, and then you have eight with like the the metropolitan. But the the, the northern lines are still pretty. They, the the carriages are very short on these kind of stock of trains. While like you look at the Jubilee line, it got extended to have s seven carriages. Um, the northern line still six. Uh, so press door release again after the doors have closed for uh, at short problems. Oh, okay, cool. Right, stand clear of the doors. So I have to press zero to unlock it, and we should be Gucci right now. Good. Right, so that was the that was the station. I thought we were at Charing Cross at the previous station, so that's why I was like, oh, why are we, oh, it's not this station, so it was, um, it was this one coming up, that's why I literally, when I swapped back to the, um, I had to swap back fast to the, to the front cab, because we were entering the station, I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. oh, this is Charing Cross, that makes sense. <laughs> I'm going to be going a little bit slower here. I didn't even hear the, the announcement for Leicester Square. Right. I don't think there's anything else I really need. 
no, I, I think I think we're all good, really. I did turn on the saloon lighting anyway. Uh, I think there is a Stanley of the Doors announcement, but I, I can't remember what it was. Ah, yes, mind the doors. Um, so. There we go, there we go. Beautiful. Let's get on, let's get going. I do love the sounds in OpenBB. This is one thing, like, I used to play this, uh, as I said, like, with OpenBB and BB in general. I used to play it religiously when I was a lot younger, like, literally, like, before I was 10 years old, basically. Like, I used to literally spam, like, the Bakerloo line, the Bakerloo line map, which I will get to doing at some point as well on the, in this series. And I used to spam that religiously because I just thought that was just so cool to have in a game. I could drive my local line in a game. It was it was just it was so good. A bit of delay there in the, in the announcements. <laughs> it does. Oh, they didn't close. Some probably got stuck in them. There we go. But obviously the Northern Line today is ATO operated. Um, so, like, right now what I'm doing is... Lucky for you guys, you get to watch me drive manually. But if it was like the Central Line video where literally I'm just sitting there talking to you guys and uh, opening doors, that would be really nice. But it's nice to do a bit of manual driving. I have no idea what that alarm was for. I'm guessing some sort of uh, safety device or something. I'm not too sure. Uh, after Leicester Streg, Good Street. I was looking. I was, I was first thinking Good Street actually. I was actually thinking about that. All right. Gooch. It's very Gooch. Right, stop that. Nice. Is this good? Like, is that good? Yeah, it's just fine. This station is Good Street, and then if I go to the track camera, which I don't know if I don't know how to reset the camera. There is a button to reset it, but whatever. Uh, let's go back. Uh, where is it? Let's go back into a little bit of a. Oh my god, these camera controls are just really, like, old. <laughs> right. I even know what the schedule is right now. We're just kind of doing our own little little thing. You know how it goes here. <laughs> well, you can kind of hear that... The 95 stop does sound similar to the 96 stop. Like, it is it is similar. Like, you can hear, like, certain tunes and, um, uh, and kind of like... Uh, but obviously, the 96 stop obviously sounds so, like, it's, it's a lot louder than the 95 stop. Mill Hill East in three minutes. Oh. I don't think that's uh, in the in this uh, in this map. I don't think the Mill he uh, Mill Hill East uh, branches. Yeah, which we've already done on a uh, open vi uh, open BV bl uh, video. We did the Victoria Line in the 2009 stock, and I think there is also a 1967 stock that there is drivable. So, uh, as I said with the series, I'm going to do each line first, and then once I do each line first that I can do, I'm going to go back over and do things like do it in other variations of trains or do any other variations of schedule and and uh, scenario, basically. So, with the Northern Line, I'll probably come back and do the other ones, which there is 
high barred it to Kennington the other way around, and there is um, Edgware to Morden, which I know you guys would love me to do the whole, <laughs> the whole Northern line. That would probably take like an hour and a half or something like that to do it. Right, departing Warren Street. I think the next station is Euston Square. Am I right? Oh no, it's just Euston. Euston Square is the um, subsurface <laughs> station. Not bad, but like halfway there, which is good. And then I think we submerge. I think we. Uh, what am I saying? Submerge. We uh, surface. I think at. Uh, East, no, at Highgate or East Finchley, I think. One of those two. This branch surfaces rather late, while the other one, I think, to Edgeware surfaces at Golders Green. Let's be cheeky. Let's get into this camera. Oh, get in there! Come on. Are we gonna? I've slowed down a little bit too much. Oh, perfect. There we go. Oh yeah, I love that announcement. I, I, I did I read the? I, I thought I wrote I wrote uh, what was saying read some proposals about the Northern Line, is that they're trying to in a way in the future when they're trying to boost the capacity and the the frequency of Northern Line trains. I think they're, they're, there's something where they want to because right now the issue is with the with the Northern Line is the two branches essentially. In but in essence, it would be better to have two separate lines, not two branches that converge. And currently the situation is most trains, I think on the Charing Cross branch, go terminate at Kennington, which is fine, but then some go through, I think, to Morden, um, while all the bank um, all the bank ones go. It, it's just a mess. The Morden line is one of the busiest lines on the network, but it's such a mess because it has two different branches in the north. It then has two different branches in the centre in the city, and then one, obviously, that goes down. Obviously, there's a new extension that's going to Battersea via Nine Elms. People, are, I'm, I'm assuming, I've like read and seen some stuff where people are saying that they're basically, when the Battersea extension opens, they're going to have less trains terminating at Kennington, and they're going to basically make the whole Charing Cross branch just terminate at Battersea all the time, instead of going to Morden, and basically then the bank branch is the, basically the trains that just go to Morden. Because the kind of thing with the northern line the way to make it to make it more frequent is basically to split up the split up the uh um the, the services because having two branch lines converge and meet and then branch off again and meet and then go through and then continue down to a like one uh, sudden terminus it is a bit hectic and that's the thing that makes the northern line very busy and it needs like more capacity and obviously the trains are not as long as the other trains on the network uh, which is an issue as well, but you can't extend platforms. Um, but you could. You could extend platforms, but that's a huge undertaking, especially extending underground platforms. Overground platforms, that's fine. Extending these kind of old underground stations for at least one carriage is going to be very difficult. Um, so the better, uh, other better ways to fit more trains, which is obviously then to split up the route and make essentially two northern line two northern lines essentially have one that essentially uh, and this is the thing i was talking about at houston they're thinking of maybe blocking the interchange or making one of the branches not stop at houston so it would basically mean houston's only for one of the branches of the of the northern line instead of both of them because there's quite a lot of congestion in houston uh for like the connectivity as well as camden town i think all right morrington crescent Well, that was a bit, bit cheeky, that. But it's an interesting idea, and, and it would definitely benefit uh, uh, benefit passengers a lot more. If like, because the Northern Line is bloody packed. I remember the few. I've only been on the Northern Line a few times. I don't really use the lines. Not really local to me. 
but I've used it in the city. I've used the city branch uh, more than the the the, the Charing Cross branch. And the city branch is packed to oh, I've never felt more like a sardine than going on the Northern Line train. It's actually unthinkable how like how many people were actually on literally on top of me underneath me next to the side of me on top of my head next to my head on my shoulder on my knees um the door was basically me and the door were almost making love that's that's how bad it was <laughs> right but then again i'd rather be next to the door than, <laughs> than like in the middle or like in the seat or something like that because when you're needing to get off when, the thing is the bad thing when you're in rush hour is if you need to get off at a station which everyone else doesn't need to get off at because then you literally have to literally mangle your way through a zoo essentially to get to the exit while if everyone's getting off at a congested station that's fine there's a flow of people coming out but if no one's getting off and you're there like the door's like only a couple of meters away but that feels like the, the, the longest couple of meters in your life right I presume that's a uh, that's the branch to Edgware I assume that's the one that goes like Gold's Green and stuff like that and Brent Cross and we're going up to High Barna Finchley Way Oh, this might be another short platform. I heard the announcement. Um, tell me something. Yeah, in Camden Town, like, very busy station again, has really short platforms. Right. 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 So it said, I think, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna cut the doors. Wait, let me just, let me, get, let me do a little look-see here. Because I did hear something where it said the doors won't open and you need to move along the carriage. Oh no! Wait, what? What? It lied to me. Well, you know what? That looks a bit dangerous. I'm just gonna I'm gonna lock I'm gonna lock the uh, left doors and do that. Yeah, yeah, I think that, for safety, that looks rather tight for people to come through, so I'm gonna just, uh, I'll just, uh, like, probably, I don't know if in real life there's, like, a gate here or something like that, because that does look like a bit of a squeeze, and that looks, for, for health and safety concerns, this is very close, that's, you know, if, and if, it, especially in Russia, you don't want people, like, clambering there, and I, I don't know how big the gap is at Camden Town, I, I, I just, I did it for, just for the safety, really. Right. Stand clear, this is Camden, this is your, this is your train to High Barnet. Right, uh, and then I need to cut the, I need to press that again. Good, not bad. I think I did the right thing there. I will leave the links down below as well for the the website that I get the London um, o underground routes and stuff op for OpenBV and BV4 and 2. I think there's most of these are compatible with all of them. Um, I think someone also messaged me like a place now you can get like you can get like this one uh, you can get this one um, packaged up file. Um, you can get this one packaged up file that has all of the London Underground routes uh, together in one. So I might include that one as well in the link below as well. Someone messaged me that directly to my channel, so thank you to whoever did that. Maybe a big gap here at Kentish Town. Right. 
cap what is that the old capital of fem logo jesus oh am i am i cutting this a bit close am i cutting this a little bit close no i i i, I think that's fine that will do Flyby cam. Oh, departure cam. How do I? They, I'm pretty sure there is a way that I can I can change. Hmm. I can't remember what the reset camera button is. Well, someone will probably tell me down below. I, I can't. There's a way to reset to a station, but I just I just can't remember what it is. Um. Yeah, I think that that was fine. That was a good. Well, I don't know. Look at that. That's 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 good. That's good enough. People can come out here. It's not that I wouldn't call that dangerous. And this literally, you walk out and slam your face onto the wall, then then that's just your fault. <laughs> right, stink it. Thing is, I can't do a flyby thing because this camera's attached to the thing like that. So I, c I can I have to stay with the train annoyingly. Well, it's a good interior though. I prefer the refurbished one. There's also the unrefurbished one, which once I complete the kind of like all the lines, as I said, I'll go back and I'll do the other trains and stuff. So once I do probably my next uh, Northern line. Um, Open BB video will probably be in the uh, older, um, unrefurbished 1995 software. It's all like black and yellow. <laughs> but I like what they did with the refurbishment. They like, um, they fixed the buttons and stuff. Um, they took away the buttons and stuff on the doors. Um, and they put the little. Uh, indicator thing like you have on the 2009 stock and one thing I didn't really understand is why on the refurbishment of the 19 uh, or the refresh of the 1996 stock I don't understand why they didn't do the same thing for the 1996 stock they because literally I like what they did when they uh, they cleared away the button which was never really used for like selective passenger door operation or whatever uh, with the 1996 stock, they refurbished it, but they still kept the button there. They didn't actually put... Oh, no, they didn't... I think they just put a blank panel, I think. A, pan, a blank panel or something like that. But they didn't actually have that nice, um, um, like, um, door-closing indicator button like the 2009 stock has it, and the, now the refurbished 1995 stocks have. I don't understand why I didn't put it on the refresh of the 1996 stocks. Maybe it was just not part of the refurbishment, um, I presume. But I do like that they've kept I've, they, they, they've gone for silver bars to go with the jubilee line kind of coloration which i really do like um the only one really now is just the as i was i've, I've mentioned this before in my open pv videos um so the bakerloo line is correct with the co correct pole to cut a uh, pole color combination uh the jubilee line now with the refresh is correct uh the no, uh, the Victoria line is sort of correct because it has some of the light blue, but then it has also dark blue, which is like emulating the Piccadilly line. Which I don't know if they were ever gonna like use 2009 stock on the P Piccadilly line. Like the, the, they were saying that there was gonna be like a 2014 stock that would be for the Piccadilly line, uh, but that never happened. And I think it was gonna be very similar to the 2009 stock, so I don't know if they were gonna be interchangeable at some point. But. Um, the Piccadilly line is true. Actually, no, it's not because it has yellow poles for some reason. I think it only has a few little bits of blue poles. Um, and then you have the central line, which is correct colored poles. And then you have the northern line, which isn't. And then you have the subsurface stock, which is all yellow because it's just all that. The fact that because they move around the S stock trains around like. Uh, the same S stock train could be used on the Hammersmith and City, on the District, and on the Circle Line. So you can't really, you can't really have like specific colours like on trains because like a, a pink coloured pole train might go on the District Line and that wouldn't look right. So I understand why they just kept it all yellow there. But then again, the D stock was green. But then again, the D stock was just a specific stock to a line. Oh, there we go. Perfect. 
Oh, we're not... I don't think we're passing... I don't think we're passing... No, uh, I was thinking we we're passing the deepest underground station on the network, which is uh, High... No, it's not... Yeah, it is Highgate. Or it's Ham... No, it's Hampstead, which is on the Edru Edgware um, uh, branch. So, the, uh, uh, if you didn't know, Hampstead is the deepest um, underground station on the network, but we're not on that branch, so... We're not gonna go and see it. I'm guessing there's a little siding here at Archway, or there's some sort of there's some sort of here thing that branches off here. Don't know what it is. Some BVE routes come with little information indicators where it will tell you what like junction this is. Like I think on the Bakerloo line. Um, it tells you like what stop or what junction or what uh, switch points you're passing it gives you the name It gives you like the depots and stuff that you pass and stuff like that as all information indicators Which I really do like with certain BVU routes Next station is Highgate which I'm guessing you're like for Highgate Village. <laughs> Very lovely gated communities in Highgate. Like, I've visited quite a few gated communities and stuff like that, but it's so, like, it's crazy. Like, I, I think I was dropping one of my sister's friends off, and she lives, like, I think somewhere in. Watford in a very nice gated community and literally you have you drive in and the gates are all automatic and it opens up and you go into the most nicest like estate of like flats and uh, and houses and semi detached houses and stuff like that it's crazy and literally you like you just you'd think that no kind of crime or whatever would happen there because it's just all quiet it's all peaceful you know, if a, if a leaf changed the wrong colour, I think that would be the, probably the worst thing that would happen in the whole in the whole gated community of the area. I don't. I don't know. I think Highgate might be the last underground station, guys. Maybe a little bit slow here, coming in quite hot. Ah, this is quite, this is quite, this is quite a, uh, long platform, I think. Are we there yet? I think this is a very long platform. Yeah, look at that. See, some of these platforms, and some of the even ones above surface, are actually long to accommodate multiple carriages but it's the it's the southern um it's the southern stations on the on the northern especially the ones like say near clapham where you have those uh, those uh, um dual island you no know, single island platforms like the only ones like on the network um it's those are the issues because those are the ones that ha like can only accommodate like this kind of length of train where like you have some of these northern stations which can definitely accommodate seven even eight carriage trains <laughs> Off we go. I'll slot in here into this third carriage. <laughs> mm. Now, I do believe East Finchley is above ground, so say goodbye to the tunnels shortly. Say hello to the uh, to the outside world. <laughs> I don't know what I don't know. What, oh, damn! Hit myself. <laughs> hit my hand oh my god that hurts so much jesus 
Um, I don't know which branch would be more, po like, busier. I don't know if the Edra branch or the High Barnet branch is busier. I guess the Edra one would be slightly busier because it's long. I think it's slightly longer than the, um, slightly longer than the, um, uh, the High Barnet branch. But I'm not too sure. The, the, the two city branches, I'm presuming, they're both equally as packed because obviously the city branch, uh, the bank branch, I keep calling it the city branch, but it doesn't really matter, bank is basically the city. Um, the city branch, like, uses, like, it obviously will get a lot of people shuttling around from bank because bank gets very busy because that's obviously that's the central business district of the city, really. But then you have the Charing Cross, which goes like, Traf you know, near Trafalgar Square, Charing Cross, and stuff like that. But we're outside, guys. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. This station is East Finchley. Change here. <laughs> I think I might do a cheeky. Um, I need to get a cheeky. Uh, I need to get a cheeky um, screenshot or whatever. I could probably do. Maybe I don't know. It's not a good station. You can see some of these stations are not like fully. Like you can see some some of them are a little bit messed up in terms of the texturing you can see some ways it works but then again this is the route which is going the other way around but the when you go from like high barnet to morden everything's textured the white way round. obviously this way round, it's textured a, a different way so that's why you can't see things so here this way you can see all the all the buildings and stuff all the, all the walls of the textures and stuff like that so that's why oh wait can we do a flyby cam now oh no we can't all right Get the doors closed. Let's -a go to the outside. Next station is uh, Finchley Central, where you can change for Mill Hill East. Um, for the Mill Hill, Mill Hill East branch. It's funny how a station like Mill Hill East actually survives to be open. I don't even know how many trains per hour actually go to Mill Hill East. But I guess it's a kind of a good turn back point. Like, say, in rush hour, it would be like good to have a few trains go to Mill Hill East so it doesn't have to go all the way up to... Um, doesn't have to go all the way up to High Barnet. Yay, some more static AI trains. I think they'll have the old, yeah, they have the old, uh, the old livery. I mean, the old interior. I'll have the fancy new one. Yeah, a lot of uh, background radio chatter. People are trying to contact me, and uh, I'm just uh, bobbing along. There could be a train in front of me that's uh, crashed. I, I don't know. I'm just driving. Siding coming up here. Siding for uh, Finchley Central. Uh, oh yeah, because there's free platforms. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see. And up ahead would go to Mill Hill East, and we take the uh, take the lovely tracks to the right. 
I keep pressing that camera. Because, oh my god, there's no textures this way around. Wait, can I... That actually could look good this way, actually. So I go to the back of the train. Oh, look at... That's quite dynamic, isn't it? Look at that. Uh, can we go a little bit back? Yeah. Oh, look at that as a look at that as a. Uh, yeah, that's, that's that's a pretty good screenshot, guys. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie to you guys. That is a decent that's a decent um decent screenshot right there for the thumbnail. Get a nice shot of the train. It's like kind of snaking up as well. There, it's not really it's not all flat, which is really really nice. <laughs> Anyway, stand clear of the closing doors. As they very, very slowly close. Let's go. Oh, the camera's gonna have fun here when it starts turning, because the camera is attached to the front carriage, so it reacts to what the front, yeah, look <laughs> what it's doing. It reacts to the front carriage of what the front carriage does. That's not a bad dynamic shot here, you know? I'm not gonna lie. Look at this. You could kind of like look and you could see that this train's actually very detailed. Like from like some edges it looks really well rendered, but then when you zoom in close, it's like, oh it's actually crap. <laughs> but anyway, I wanna try and get back into a carriage here. Preferably the second one. Uh, there we go. There we go. Like when you're outside in a tube train, tube trains don't really feel like they go very. It doesn't look like they go very fast outside. In tunnels, they look like they go very, very fast. But in uh, in the outside, it looks like oh meh. It's kind of mess speeds, and they are mess speeds. Because they obviously don't go fast like mainline trains. I'm going rather fast here. But I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Come on. I'll need to get a little bit more. Uh... There we go. Yes, which is... Oh, I can't open the timetable in a... Oh, I can. Uh, which is... So we have two more stations. Woodside Park and Totteridge. Totteridge. Totteridge? Totteridge and Wellstone. <laughs> Whetstone. And uh, then just High Barnet. <laughs> that's a very... <laughs> that's a name there. Don't think I've ever been there, but... I've been to High Barnet. There we go. Let's -a go. Let's get rid of you. But if you guys prefer, oh my god! See, this is the fun thing with this Open VV. This, this camera just has a mind of its own. Like you move it a little bit, and then it just doesn't know what to do. So it just like, yeah, look at this. It just swings around. It gets like blocked or blocked by I don't know the objects or who knows. This game's very old. It's probably older than me. I know it's probably not older than me, but probably near my age. <laughs> I don't even know when BB originally came out. I think it was the late 90s it came out. Well, this is a nice northern suburb station. Oh, 
That, ladies and gentlemen, is on the money. That is what I call... That is what I... Can I get a camera here for this? That is what I call a stop. This is what is perfection. This is what ATO can't even train me to do. Even though I've got it perfectly on the... Uh, I got it perfectly on the marker that tells me I've got it, but then outside it actually doesn't look that good. <laughs> but I know it's good. It told me it was good. That's a nice shot. Just don't get the untextured uh, thing there. Hmm. Stand clear. I don't know if there are even any talks of extending the Northern Line anymore. Like, obviously, they're doing the Battersea extension, but I don't know if they're actually thinking of extending it anymore. Um, like, I know the Bakerloo's, like, there's talks to extend it to, like, Camberwell and Lewis Lewisham. Lewisham. But I don't know about the Northern Line. The Northern Line's pretty big, though, so I don't even know if it needs extensions. It just needs to be kind of, as I said, separated out. Hopefully, with the Battersea Power Extension, uh, the Battersea Park expansion, it will basically. Hopefully, it, the thing, the aim is to split it from the Char the split the Charon and the the uh, Bank branch, um, just so they don't really interfere with each other. Because when they interfere with each other, that's where the congestion is. If they're both separate kind of lines and they have their own separate frequent trains, that would make it more viable, I would think. Because right now the mess is that it's just there's too much interconnectivity between those two branches and it basically just means that there's too much congestion. Well, if they were separate, because imagine if the Northern Line was two separate lines, imagine this. There was a line that went from, uh, there's a line that goes from, um, there's a line that goes from Edgware to the new Battersea Park and then there's a line that goes from High Barnet to Morden. Two lines, two De dedicated lines to dedicated trains for, fr for you know frequency and stuff like that it'd be a lot better than having currently the mess which is the northern line oh we're this we're at this wonderful station of tot ridge <laughs> tot ridge and whetstone i love i love uh, station names or just areas that have two names like that tot ridge and whetstone i love that it's, like, it's not just Totteridge, it's not just Whetstone, it's Totteridge and Whetstone. <laughs> Staying clear. Our next station, sadly, is High Barnet, where this train terminates. I've enjoyed this, it's been a great little run on the Northern Line on uh, my playing Open BVE series. I hope you guys enjoyed it, I know you guys have been begging me to do the Northern Line, I think since the first day I did an Open BV video. I'm sorry it's taken this long, but, you know, it's not one of the main games on my channel, it's one of those games I kind of come back to from time to time, and I will be doing more of it. Um, like, there's still the Bakerloo, and um, I think there is a Piccadilly version I do have that sort of works. And then you have, uh, I think there's a Metropolitan one, but that one's a bit broken. <laughs> And, uh, I think, I don't know, I might then just revisit some other stuff. It'd be so cool if there was, like, a shift duty on this game. It would make it a lot more, uh cooler but then it's just it's an old game it's pretty like all these kind of routes and stuff are like predetermined scenarios where you just literally click on like oh this to this and that's it really as i said with the textures the textures are based on like you looking towards the direction you're going not the, the opposite direction so that's why we get out some of these even though this is an open bv route and this was i think this route was kind of sort of designed with this train as to be an open bv route but even as it's an open bv route the textures don't show when you're looking back the opposite direction if you do pick the other one that goes back down the other way i think the textures are better i think i don't know they they, they reflect on the on the direction you're looking essentially I 
think it's the approach that we get onto. Yeah, the, there's an approach thing, isn't there? Yeah, approach control. 41.40. I have no idea what the time is, but we're obviously not on time. But we're here. That's the main thing. I'm going to let it coast now. I think we're sort of nearish to High Barnet. Is that a red light? Oh, thank God. I thought it was going to... I actually thought it was going to troll me there. Right, what platform are we going on? I thought it said... I thought it gave us a direction to go to the other platform. But obviously that's... Oh no, maybe it might be here actually. Yep, it's here. We are going on to the... There's another train there on the further platform there on the right. As we come in. Not that nice. Oh, a little bit of sparks. I like it. The fact that this game has third rail sparks, or fourth rail in this case, and um, train sim doesn't would like third rail stuff. Right. Oof. That was absolutely that that was on the money that was yeah that was absolutely like cracker of a stop we're here with the oh this could be a really nice uh oh that's really nice actually let's get let's get in for a bit of that action look at that but that's the old oh that's the old um that's the old one but I, we've got a glimpse of my one as well there, so that's all right. Wait, is this a new nighting on? Yeah, it is. Yeah, I like that. Look at that. That's that's really nice. How's that for us? For us, screenshot guys. You like that? Yeah, I think we'll go. We we'll go with that. That looks so nice. Yeah, beautiful. Anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed. Uh, my uh, episode 6 on playing Open BV, doing the Northern Line finally in the 1995 refurbished stock, doing Kennington to High Barnet, there's still more to do with the Northern Line in terms of doing Edgware to Morden, and doing High Barnet to Kennington the other way, that I'll get on to doing at some point once I complete all the lines I have in store for uh, the Underground in the Playing Open BV series. I hope you've enjoyed it. The shouts again go to Billy Day and Ben Bushell Ainsley. That's again Billy Day and Ben Bushell Ainsley. The links to stuff will be down below. Show them some love. I hope you've enjoyed this play and open open playing playing open BVE episode. It's good to be back on doing it and uh, hopefully there'll be more to come. Hope you guys have all have yourselves a lovely day. Check out some more of my other videos and stuff like that and uh, other than that, just take care, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. We ain't never given up, cause we ain't